Welcome to Mr. Bywater's Subtraction of Vectors Practice. Okay, so I just figured I needed some other way to start this video other than just... Okay, let's get started. So, now that we've started, let's get started. All right, so we talked about in class how to add vectors together. So I wanted to take just a minute to kind of talk you through subtracting vectors. All right, so we've got two vectors here. We've got vector A, which is 12 meters to the east. And then we've got vector B, which is 30 meter, or 7 meters at 30 degrees, or 30 degrees north of east. All right, so we're going to look at how we can subtract these vectors. First, let's remind ourselves how we add vectors. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take vector A here. We wrote down vector A, and then we added vector B head to tail, right? Which means we put the tail of vector B on vector A. We put it right there, and then we draw vector B just as it is here. You'll notice that this vector A is exactly the same as what you have here, and vector B is exactly what you have there. Okay, now we connect the beginning point, the starting point, to the ending point, and that is our resultant vector. And so that's the result when we add them together. Now when we subtract vectors, it's exactly the same, except we're going to change the direction of the vector that's being subtracted. Okay, so essentially, vector B looked like this, where it was going up at 30 degrees. Okay, vector B being subtracted would look like this. We've still got the 30 degrees there right except this time the vector is going to be going down okay so you'll notice that it's exactly the same except now it's going the exact opposite direction now this would be seven meters at and you could either call this 30 degrees south of west or you could call it uh, 210 degrees, right? We talked about in class how there's different ways to name this vector. Okay, so basically it's going to be going down instead of up like that. Okay, so when we subtract those two vectors, we'll take the A vector. And we've drawn the A vector right here. Okay, exactly as it was before, minus vector B. Now, when we subtract, that just means it's the negative vector, so it's going to be this one right here. So you can see how in my drawing here, I have drawn it going back that direction. Okay, it's still the exact same line, except now it's pointing the other direction. Again, the resultant vector will be drawn much the same way. We'll start here, where we started the A vector, subtracted the V vector, and that's where we'll end. So we'll start here. And as you can see, there is our resultant vector, which was already drawn in. Now, at this time, you haven't learned how to calculate this line, because we don't have a right angle, so we can't use our trig. However, you could measure it. If you knew how many centimeters there were to 12 meters, then you could measure this and tell me how many meters it was. Okay, But that's the basic idea. Just change the direction of the vector. And so now, I invite you to go to the rest of the sheet and give some of these a try. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in class.